Hey everybody, it's time for another uh, update on the basement slash hydroponic system. It's been about 60 days and some change. It is December the 13th, 2012. And we'll start with a little 3 inch pipe system here. Lettuce is still going pretty good. I just simply use this to feed my goldfish just to supplement their uh, manufactured food and give them something natural along with that, but they love it. Back to our uh, Swiss chard. We got some peppers. We have uh, some tomato plants. There's some cherry tomatoes back there in the back. And they're getting ready to flower. This is a cherry tomato plant along with this other one that's starting to go sideways. That's a beefsteak tomato plant. I don't have very good luck with those uh, full size tomato plants in these systems. I think it's due to the lighting lack of sun but uh, this one seems to be doing all right so we'll keep it going to see how it turns out here's the floating raft system some more pepper plants cherry tomatoes i tried a little experiment with uh, cantaloupe back there pretty spindly but uh, as you can see it's taken off about six or seven feet down that back grid wall clear to the end and that's where it seems to stop but just an experiment we might get lucky and get a cantaloupe off there before the year's out who knows a little five foot system and the swiss chart i've got to record this because i got to harvest this stuff it's ready to go but we've just got uh, several different varieties in here some of them are pretty colorful and they're getting pretty big time to cook it up a few more cantaloupe back there few lettuce plants and back to our walnut stained hydroponic system believe it or not the hydroponic system is doing much better than the aquaponics this year I'm not sure why I think it uh, I suspect it's because I've got about 40 or 45 pounds less uh, uh, fish in here since we don't have the tilapia anymore we've just got the goldfish probably five pounds total of goldfish they're just not supplying enough nutrients to the aquaponics like they did last year but you're happy little guys I don't know what we got in there probably 20 but actually uh, we do have some uh, cherry tomatoes starting here you can see there's one back there a few more back in this area this thing I've got in my hand here that's my little bee simulator I just go around and I touch each of the little blooms from one to the other and then come back kind of uh, artificially pollinating them since there are no bees down here but the pepper plants are just doing phenomenal these huge plants are exactly the same age as those little ones over there the ones in the hydroponics are at least twice as big and they've actually got some blooms on them already. There's one right back there. And these others are have several blooms that are getting ready to start. Let's see if we can see a couple of them back there. Yeah, there's one back there. Another bloom that'll probably be blooming by tomorrow or the next day. But we've just got lots and lots of uh, blooms on the cherry tomatoes too. So this system it's kind of a different design but it uh, it's doing well pleasantly surprised there's a little intake for the raft system that runs 24-7 kick off the water on this these other grow beds just to show how that just to show how that works and there it is filling and that'll run for about 15 minutes and then stop every hour on the hour keeps the plants nutrients flowing you get a long look down the length of the basement this area is only about 20 feet long by 10 feet wide but as you can see there's plenty of room to 
keep this little hobby going until I can get something bigger and better set up. Hopefully a greenhouse in the not too distant future. Here's our little cherry tomato again. Anybody that tells you you can't grow cherry tomatoes under these normal fluorescent lights is wrong. I've been doing it for years. Of course, more expensive lighting would uh, probably uh, see them doing a lot better. But for now, it'll work. We'll check back in another 30 days or so.